Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How to Wine, Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the new Wi-Fi-enabled Amazon Kindle. This episode specifically, we're going to show you how to buy books for the Amazon Kindle. There's a couple different ways to buy books. One of them is a bit tougher than the other, and we'll show you both of the methods. The first way to buy books on the Amazon Kindle is from the Kindle itself. We have Wi-Fi on it, and we can actually use that Wi-Fi to search through to Amazon and buy a book. So to buy a book, from any page, we'll hit Menu, and we'll choose the option that says Shop in Kindle Store. It'll ask you to turn on networking if it's currently off. And then we'll have the Kindle interface up here that allows us to shop in the Amazon store. So we'll go down to the bottom. And in fact, we can actually start typing at the bottom for any book. So we're going to type James Rollins because I'm on a bit of a Rollins kick lately. It'll come up with a list of different titles that uh, match our search criteria. And then we can go down the list to see what each of them are. It'll list the uh, rating for each of them. It'll uh, allow you to click through to find out more information on them. Again, if we have more than one uh, page of titles, we can skip through to another page by clicking the page forward button or page back. So if I want to choose one specifically, I'll click through to the list of titles. You can click through to get more information on a specific title, like so. And then when you want to buy it, You'll make sure that you're highlighting buy, click the button in the center, and it will actually buy the title for you. And it'll start to download. So you see it says, thank you for your purchase. We're sending your item, and it'll automatically appear in your home screen. So when you go back to your home screen, you see a list of titles, and it's so quick, it's already there because we're buying this directly over Wi-Fi. So the title is listed right at the top, and we can start reading it at any point by just clicking through. And there it is. The other way to get books onto your Kindle, since it's a wireless device, is to order them online and specify where to ship them. So we're going to look again for another James Rollins book. James Rollins in Kindle store. So we can go down, list all of the things on Amazon that are here in the Kindle store. So we can choose something here. So we have in the upper right hand corner the option to buy it now with one click. And we also have below that, Deliver To. And so if you remember the name of your Kindle in the upper left-hand corner of your Kindle, it'll specify which one it is. So if you have multiple ones in the family, you can deliver to specific ones. So in this case, we want to deliver to Sean's third Kindle as opposed to the second Kindle. The second Kindle is my wife's. So we'll click on that. Click on Buy It Now with one click. Now on the Kindle itself, you'll see that the book appears on the Kindle automatically when the wireless is on. Now at any point, if an item that you've purchased isn't showing up on the list, you can go to Menu, Sync and Check for Items, and it'll check with Amazon to see if there's anything waiting in the queue for you that you haven't downloaded yet. If there is, it'll download it to your Kindle. Now if you are part of a multi-Kindle household, if you've purchased titles on your other Kindles that are linked to the same account, you can actually scroll through to the last page of your Kindle screen, and you notice something called Archived Items. If you click through to that, you'll see all of the other items that you've purchased on your various devices. So if you want to download one of those to this particular Kindle, you can do so by clicking through to it and selecting it. It'll download it. And when you go back to your main page here, you notice that it should appear fairly shortly after you do that. You can also subscribe to magazines on the Kindle. There's a monthly charge for that, so every month you'll get charged the same amount no matter what instead of a one-time charge like with books. The one limitation on the magazines is you can only send them to a single Kindle, so you can't spread them out over your various Kindles. So the subscription is per device rather than for your household as a whole. That's a look at buying books for the Wi-Fi enabled Amazon Kindle. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways to use the Amazon Kindle. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and all the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.